Hello and welcome to Mangley Town on the Train Station 2 app game. Today I want to take you through the 5 building method for upgrading your buildings on the game including some of the current upgrade mechanics and some tips. So we'll get into it. Firstly, this is how I play. I'm not saying this is how you need to play but many others use this method as it can increase your population quickly than not using the 5 building method. Now obviously, all buildings will eventually go through all levels with their various different timers per level. This doesn't get you past that, it's not a cheat, but by concentrating on just 5 buildings rather than say 15, it gets you to the higher levels with the greater population increases on those buildings faster than sharing out the upgrades over many more buildings. This then gets your population higher quicker, and high population means you can upgrade your warehouse sooner and hold more goods to help gameplay. As you can see from myself, I'm doing quite well in the current competition and one of the main reasons that is, is because I've got a high level warehouse. I can hold 19,500 items. That means on the event items, I can hold minimum three to 400 of each item ready to go as soon as I've had the time from the event starts to produce them obviously. So that's why having a high population and high warehouse can help you in gameplay. Before the upgrade of a good few months ago the maximum warehouse was 20,400 and you needed a population of 80,900 for that. Now the max warehouse has been increased to 25,400 and all I know is the population requirement is in excess of 207,000. The highest figure I've seen at storage level of 24,400 for that 207,000 population. So I wouldn't be surprised if 25,400 warehouse capacity needs around 259,980 population which is equivalent to all 70 plots with fully upgraded buildings. So obviously if you want to play the game to its full advantage with the highest warehouse then you need to get on those building upgrades. Right, so the main change since the building mechanics upgrade of a few months ago is only buildings that are out of storage and on your building plots count towards your population. Although placing buildings in storage doesn't affect your score in the VP, there we go, mine is 244,000. If I pop a, train, a building into storage, the VP figure won't go down, but my figure up here for population will. So I'll quickly show you that. Pop that in storage and straight away I've lost the 3,700 on my population. So I'll quickly pop that back in. So any fully upgrade buildings level 150 are fine to be left out on your building plots as long as you have enough plots to do so. That way it keeps your population figure. Your VP figure will go back up as soon as you've got enough buildings out there that that figure would increase again. But the VP figure won't ever actually go down. As for the five buildings, any five upgradable buildings is good. Having some low and some high level, a mix, can be handy as the lower ones will need less plans and be on a shorter upgrade timer. But at the end of the day, they will all need to go through the higher levels amount of plans to be fully upgraded anyway. But it does give you an advantage with the timers being shorter and the amount of plans being less if you've got a few lower level buildings out. Now some people do a similar thing with just four buildings. So why then, in mine and others' opinions, is five better? Simply, it's because of the trash upgrade option. So if you go into an upgrade and you've got the little trash can there. So at the moment I've got five buildings out. If I pop that one into storage, 
So I've only got four out. If I hit that trash, it will clear that upgrade and go on to fresh upgrade requirements, but with the counter counting down again. But if I pop that one back in, If then, with the five buildings out, you hit the trash button to trash the upgrade. I will just save you watching the video. And now you see that that upgrade is there straight away. No timer. So that is the main advantage of the five building method over the four building method. So hopefully that will help you. So the essence of the five building method is to concentrate on those five buildings. It does help to increase your population faster. As you see from my game, I've been playing a bit over two and a half years. Five building method for the last two years. And I have 65 fully upgraded buildings. And to my mind, this is because of the five building method. Concentrating on those five buildings at a time has helped me increase my population quicker than just waiting for any five or more, sorry, more than five random buildings and spreading out those upgrades over possibly 60 or different buildings. So what else do you need to know? Firstly, always do your ship trade. It's there just below the warehouse on the screen. It's available every 16 hours from when you last completed one, but also be wary as soon as you go into it, a counter starts counting down for how long you've got to complete that ship trade. One thing I've noticed is that since the latest upgrade, some of the graphics have changed. So that's an original bank building. The new bank building is now different graphics and also the same on the business center. Nothing wrong with that, it's just annoying. You'd think all business centres would look the same, so I don't know why they've done that. Uh, what else have we got? Don't forget, as well as the ship trade, your other main areas for getting plans is on event um, reward passes. You get different plans at different stages there, and also in the union shop. That refreshes once a week and there's normally at least one plan in there although that wasn't this week also since the new building mechanics were introduced buildings have a three-stage cycle of upgrading requirements you get two plans with one goods uh, you also get a one large amount of plans with goods but you also get another upgrade where it is just two lots of goods trash and an upgrade will change what was needed on that upgrade requirements but only as in it may change the color plans and it will probably change what goods you needed this is not a way of evading using plans like we used to be able to do under the old mechanics it always cycles through those three stages of upgrades in that order don't forget as well you will need to get more building plots as they become available you need to keep on these an eye on these areas at the top of the screen because they're some of the areas which will be available as well as the main block in the middle of the screen as you increase the level more plots will become available until you hit the maximum of 70. you also have your little building with a dollar sign on and that's your building shop as you progress through the levels at different levels there will be buildings available to buy and any that you've bought and aren't out there are in your inventory storage so you have plenty of buildings there hopefully 
I've got another 60 odd buildings there I think and that's considering I've got 70 out I don't know if Pixel Federation are going to fill in these gaps with more building plots but obviously at the moment I believe there's enough building plots out there to get your population up to the maximum amount needed for the maximum warehouse one little hack for you though if you're at the stage where all your buildings are on timers of an over an hour to the next upgrade I'd swap one of the buildings out for a much smaller building anything which would have a timer of below an hour you get the trash function every hour but it's not a lot of use if you've still got all your buildings on countdown to the next upgrade availability so if you have a smaller building with a timer less than an hour you can use that um, trash building option when it becomes available on the hour so hopefully that will help you as well I hope the whole of this has been of help to you I love playing the game so if I can help others it just makes it more enjoyable for all don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as other videos on the game on my channel as well and if there's enough interest I'll share my Lyco fleet strategy with you as well in case that helps others too other than that, thank you for watching.